Well, Doug, after a judge released a North Texas man from custody yesterday with restrictions, some people wondered why, given his prior posts on social media. We spoke with a legal expert about that and the fact that some of those charged provided prosecutors with a gift. I'm not kidding. All of the cell phone videos posted online and social media is helping federal investigators and prosecutors file charges against those who stormed the U.S. Capitol January 6th. Jenna Ryan of North Texas, arrested today, is among them. Life or death, it doesn't matter. USA! USA! Former U.S. Attorney in the Northern District of Texas, Paul Coggin, says the videos make this case far different from other criminal cases. Bank robbers, you know, they'll videotape their bank robbery and, and, and send that out to the world. Ryan's arrest comes one day after another North Texan arrested for unlawfully entering the Capitol that day, Larry Brock, was released from custody by a judge. Court documents refer to video and still photos showing Brock inside the Capitol wearing a helmet, body armor, and a camo jacket. In court, an FBI agent said he was holding zip ties with the purpose of restraining people. The agent testified Brock had posted January 1st on Facebook, Castle will be stormed on the 6th, and that on that day, Brock posted, Patriots on the hill, Patriots storming, men with guns need to shoot their way in. But his defense attorney told the judge he wasn't violent at the Capitol, voluntarily surrendered January 10th, and as a lieutenant colonel, served four tours in Afghanistan. The magistrate who looked at this, very experienced, very careful magistrate, it had to have been a close call, though, because of what you said, the, the defendant's own words almost got him locked up. I think probably what might have tipped it in his way is it sounds like he did voluntarily surrender. Brock declined comment. While the charges facing him are misdemeanors, prosecutors warned in court yesterday that the charges could be upgraded. Doug?